Ah. Good evening, everybody. Well, it's been a month since I did the 1987 World Cup. Um, we were match 23 where India chased down 265 in no time against Kenya. The reason why I've been away for a month is obviously the European Championships have been on. So I've been watching that and been playing that on PlayStation instead of this. But now we're back to Brian Lawa Cricket and the 1987 Cricket World Cup being played in India. Match 24 of the tournament. Was it match 24 or was it match 23? Just double check. Sorry, I'm just going to double check. One, two, four, five, seven. No, sorry, it was match 23 of the 1987 Cricket World Cup. It was a Group 1 encounter between Zimbabwe and West Indies. This was Zimbabwe's final group match and West Indies' full through match. West Indies had a full 100% record. Zimbabwe knew that a victory would take them into the quarterfinals. It would be the biggest upset of all time. West Indies hadn't been convincing. Well, Zimbabwe's batting was getting what seemed like it was getting worse and worse throughout the tournament, having rolled out for 139 against Pakistan. The toss was won by Zimbabwe and led to the field first. Now, considering that this World Cup, only five times has a team batted second and won the match, it was a big gamble. It was a dry, dusty pitch, but it was overcast conditions. And as you will be able to see now, it was a gamble that John Krykos, it did not pay off for him. Um, is it blurry or... Uh, yeah, that's fine. thought it was a bit blurry, but here it is. And look at that score from the West Indies. That is a world record score. The highest ever score in a one-day international. 365 West Indies breaking new ground. The first team to get 350 in a one-day international. They were absolutely ruthless today. Not been convincing at all with a bat this tournament. But today, they were absolutely awesome. And look at this scorecard. Um, Carlisle Best out for 18. There was a duck for Vivian Richard for um, Richie Richardson. Vivian Richards was superb. 66 of 53 deliveries, but got out to a sloppy shot. Um, Gus Holder, 67 of 59 deliveries. And there was eight not out for um, Roger Harper and three not out for Carl Hooper. But look at that. He got 106 in the last match against Ireland. A gritty 106. But... How close was he to a world record score? Vivian Richards held a world record score of 188 against England in a one-day match at Old Trafford in 1984. And Desmond Haynes, 181 off of 161 deliveries. He got his 100 off 126 deliveries and then he hit 81 runs off his next, full, off his next 35 balls as he went absolutely ballistic. A wonderful, wonderful innings and finishing eight runs short of the highest score ever in a one-day international. It was absolutely sensational. 330 runs in four innings, come through the league as leading run scorer in this World Cup. And um, it was just absolutely incredible. And the thing's gone all light now, so let's just see now. Yeah, that's fine. That's, um, yeah, that's all right. Sorry, it went light there. I think I pressed the wrong button or something like that. Yeah, that's fine now. Is it fine? A bit quieter. Sorry, I'm just mucking around with the um, lighting. Yeah, that looks fine to me. So, yeah, 360 for five from their 50 over, the highest ever score in a one-day international. Um, remember, this is not professional, ladies and gentlemen. Um, the bowlers, I mean, look at that. I mean, John Krykos was put down as the star bowler for Zimbabwe. He's got hit for 97 runs of his 10 overs for one wicket. There's one for 35 for Peter Rawson. Um, two for 68 for... Two for sixty-eight for um, Malcolm Jarvis. One for forty-eight for Edo Brandes. Not for eighteen for um, Ian Butchart. Not for thirty-nine for Ali Shah, and not for forty-three for a part-time bowler. Um, Andrew Prycroft. Um, they got all whacked all over Bombay today and um, Zimbabwe were never in the hunt. West Indies have been, have been criticised this tournament for not fielding well throughout this World Cup and not catching well. Well, they were ruthless today. They had Zimbabwe 100 for 6 from 26 overs. The game was well and truly over. A battle in 64 of 126 deliveries from um, Kevin Arnott. That was superb in a losing call. 16 at the top of the inning for Robbie. For, um, 
Robin Brown and Ali Shah went for a duck. There was two for um, Andrew Prycroft. David Houghton's form's really gone off the boil since his 50 against um, Rebel South African 11, as well as his 100 against New Zealand. The last three games, he's really gone off the boil. He was out for 19. 11 for um, Andy Waller. Ian Woodchuck was out for 5. Brilliant 45, not out for Peter Rawson off 100 deliveries towards the end. And 6 for Fredo Brandes, not out towards the end. But the game was well and truly out. They batted the 450 others to score 191 for 7. Um, 14 for 1 for um, Vivian Richards. 2 for 43 for um, Roger Harper. 1 for 33 for Carl Hooper. 1 for 32 for Winston Benjamin. Um, Courtney Walsh didn't only bowled five overs, naught for 12. And one for 44 for um, Patrick Patterson, who's now got 10 wickets in four matches. He's the leading run scorer. He's the leading wicket taker in this World Cup. He's the first player to reach double figures in this World Cup in terms of wickets taken. So the final summary, um, Zimbabwe first West Indies at Bombay. Um, Zimbabwe won the toss, elected to bat first. And unfortunately, as the thing goes light again, so it's very unprofessional, this. But hang on, don't worry. Is that fine? One, two, three. Yeah, that's fine. Sorry. Yeah. Because, um, yeah, there's a little bit of marks on the screen, so I'm obviously screwing around. Um, I'm on my toss, select the bowl, Zimbabwe. Absolute appalling decision in the end on a dry, dusty pitch. West Indies making a world record score, 365 from their 50 overs. Zimbabwe batting out their 50 overs to score, 191 for 7. West Indies winning by 169 runs, a comprehensive victory, their best performance of the tournament. Um, the biggest win in this World Cup in terms of runs, a man of a match, none surprise, for that record 181 of 161 deliveries um, was... Um, Desmond Haynes, what a player he is. As you can see, West Indies at back at the top of Group 1. Four out of four. Pakistan have got the Rebel South going to live in a couple of days' time. They win that. It sets up a, a, show, a final showdown in what is going to be the last match in Group 1, which is in about six days' time, I think. As you can see, Zimbabwe played all their five matches. Now, now they have to rely on Ireland. They have to rely on Ireland not to beat New Zealand. There, there is a, a little... Um, Post um, thing to that. If Ireland don't beat, if Ireland beat New Zealand come to me, then New Zealand will be out of the World Cup. But if Ireland were to beat New Zealand by a narrow margin, Zimbabwe would go out of the World Cup. That is uh, the confusion of the run rate. Zimbabwe know that they are their World Cups on the knife edge, and so is New Zealand's. To be honest with you, New Zealand have to beat Ireland. I think if Ireland were to beat New Zealand come to me, New Zealand would be out of the World Cup. If Ireland were to beat New Zealand by no margin, that would send Zimbabwe out of the World Cup. And of course, if New Zealand win, then Ireland would be out of the World Cup and Zimbabwe would finish fourth on the table. Um, tomorrow's match, Sri Lanka versus Holland. That's Sri Lanka's final match in the group. This is um, do or die for um, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka lose against Holland. They know they are out of the World Cup. They have to beat Holland tomorrow, or else they will suffer their first ever group stage exit. And they will suffer their first ever group stage exit. In World Cup cricket. They have to beat Holland tomorrow. They've not been convincing them of a bat this tournament. They have to produce the goods tomorrow. Otherwise it is all over. We're going to have a look at the um, archive. We're now going to have a look at the archives now. Or the tracking for the West Indian and Zimbabwe players. See how much they've done there. It's not really had. Um, it's been a few good performances. It's amazing that Desmond Haynes wasn't picked as the star batsman for this tournament. Because he's got 330 runs in four innings. And back to back centuries. And a record score. Um, this is what it's like at the moment. His average is going up slightly. Um, he didn't go past his... He got 67 in his last match against the Irish. He got 66 today. 174 runs in four innings. An average 43. He got his first wicket of the tournament now. So his average is now 37 with a ball. But obviously for star batsman Vivian Richards. Um, 10 wickets in four matches at an average... Or 14 is the leading run score. He's the leading wicket taker in this tournament, Patrick Patterson. Let's just double check that. Don't think there's no one else, is there? Actually, no, he's the joint leading wicket taker. He's actually the joint leading wicket taker in this tournament, Craig McDermott, who's also got 10 wickets in the tournament. So he's had a fine tournament so far, Patrick Patterson. Um, David Houghton's average now gone down to 55, 223 runs in five innings. He's had a pretty good tournament. 
He could play, um, but he got 50 against Rebel Safkin 11, 116 in a losing course against New Zealand in that epic match. But he hasn't looked the same since those opening two matches. As for, um, I don't think I've ever seen a more disappointing performance. Remember, he didn't bowl. I don't think he bowled in his last match against um, Zimbabwe. I don't think he bowled in his last match against Pakistan. Averaging 27 with the bat, but his average with a ball. John Krykos, two wickets in four matches, now through to 96. I don't think I've ever seen a player, in my opinion, pick for an all-star team, which is what these 22 players are. It's basically an all-star team all different, from all the different countries that we think we'll go have to a tournaments. And yet, he looks absolutely hopeless at the moment. You, you, you really feel for him. You know, remember a tournament in 1979 where Vets Venkakaran, Although he wasn't picked as a star player, the captain of India had a dreadful tournament where he took three wickets in six matches and ended up with an average of 65 and his captaincy was poor. Tricostic's captaincy has been pretty good throughout this tournament. But you've got to say, Zimbabwe now have to rely on Ireland not to beat New Zealand or Ireland to beat New Zealand by a big margin. Um, it's now likely that Zimbabwe will now probably play India if they do go through. Um, but tomorrow's match will be Sri Lanka versus Holland for match 24 of the tournament. Until then, this is me, Lawrence Howard, reporting on the 987 Cricket World Cup, being played on Brawlhalla Cricket on PlayStation, being played in India. Until tomorrow's match, it's bye-bye from me. Bye-bye.